Good afternoon, Cross Timbers. Today is Thursday, February 28, 2019, and I'm Whitley Combs. Campus, politics in the United States, and more coming up next on Texan TV. In campus news, the JTAC is reporting that Casey Hogan is returning to Tarleton to lead Tarleton Athletics in Marketing and Broadcasting. Hogan, or the voice of the Texans, attended Tarleton for his undergraduate in 2007. In an interview with Francisco Castro of the JTAC, Hogan said he was involved in radio broadcasts at Tarleton during his junior year in 2006. Hogan left Tarleton in 2016 to work at an IT company. After Lon Risman let Hogan know that Tarleton was looking to add someone as an assistant athletic director for marketing, Hogan accepted the offer and is now the assistant athletic director of marketing and broadcasting for Tarleton. Hogan said he wants to thank Dr. Dottavio and Coach Reisman for giving him the opportunity to come home. In local news, Erath County Sheriff Matt Coates had exciting news for commissioners on Wednesday. The Sheriff's Office is now an official Texas Commission of Law Enforcement training site. We can do a lot of our own training here now and do all of the reporting from our building. The Sheriff's Office applied to the Commission for the designation which requires certain standards for a location to become a training site. In state news, according to the Texas Tribune, after a three-hour public hearing in the Texas Senate, the Finance Committee unanimously passed a bill that would provide annual $5,000 pay raises for all full-time classroom teachers in the state. More details of this bill could be shared throughout the year. In national news, reported from the Associated Press, Transgender troops testifying for the first time to Congress on Wednesday said transitioning to another sex made them stronger. While Pentagon officials defended the Trump's, Trump's administration desire to bar people like them from enlisting in the future, Army Captain Olivia Stelic, an infantry officer and graduate of the U.S. Military Academy at West Point, New York, and Ranger School, told lawmakers she became a more effective soldier after she transitioned from male to female in 2017. President Donald Trump has argued that the presence of transgender people is a burden and cited tremendous medical costs as a reason for the ban. According to new data from the Defense Department provided to the House Armed Services Committee ahead of the hearing, the military has spent about $8 million on transgender care since 2016. The military's annual health care budget tops $50 billion. An estimated 14,700 troops on active duty and in the reserves identify as transgender but not all seek treatment. In international news, we turn to the Associated Press to hear from Donald Trump. It's been more difficult than you thought, and was the North Korean demand for lifting of some sanctions the real sticking point here in that you did yeah. not want to do that and they did? And will it, there it was be about third, the sanctions. Will we there be a third summit, Mr. President? Basically, uh, they wanted the sanctions lifted in their entirety, and we couldn't do that. They were willing to denuke a large portion of the areas that we wanted, but we couldn't give up all of the sanctions for that. So we continue to work, and we'll see. But we had to uh, walk away from that particular suggestion. We had to walk away from that. Will all the sanctions that are currently in existence remain, sir? They're in place. Uh, you know, I was watching, as a lot of you folks over the weeks have said, oh, uh, we've given up. We haven't given up anything. And frankly, I think we'll end up being very good friends with Chairman Kim and with North Korea, and I think they have tremendous potential. I've been telling everybody, they have tremendous potential, unbelievable potential, but uh, we're going to see. But it was about sanctions. I mean, they wanted sanctions lifted, but they weren't willing to do an area that we wanted. They were willing to give us areas, but not the ones we wanted. He has a certain vision, and it's not exactly our vision, but it's a lot closer than it was a year ago. And I think, you know, eventually we'll get there. But for this particular visit, we decided that we had to walk, and uh, we'll see what happens, okay? For more of today's national and international news, we turn to the AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. President Trump's summit with North Korean leader Jim Jong-un in Vietnam ended abruptly without a deal. Trump said the sticking point was economic sanctions, which Jim wanted lifted in exchange for denuclearization. 
Former Trump lawyer Michael Cohen testifies before the House Intelligence Committee behind closed doors on Thursday. On Wednesday, Cohen testified that Trump lied throughout the 2016 campaign about his business interests in Russia. North Carolina political operative McRae Dallas is facing charges, including illegal ballot handling. His arrest comes after election officials determined that his work for Republican Mark Harris tainted a 2018 congressional race. And Northern California officials say the flooded Russian River swamped about 2,000 homes and buildings. The water in some areas has reached eight feet deep. Mike Hemp in the Associated Press with AP News Minute. In local sports news, last week we reported that the Texan women's basketball team had moved to number seven in the NCAA South Central Region rankings. And as of today, they have now moved another two spots up to number five. The women have a 17 and six region record going into tonight's game against Western New Mexico. They did make the trip to New Mexico for this game and they will travel to Saturday's game as well in Odessa against UT Permian Basin. These are the last two games for the regular season. Be sure to catch updates, stats, and scores via Tarleton Sports. Today's forecast from the National Weather Service, the Cross Timbers region unexpected freezing weather this morning. There was the patchy freezing drizzle before 9 a.m. and now it's cloudy with a high near 42 degrees. North winds are 5 to 10 miles per hour. Don't forget your jackets. This has been a production of Texan TV News, a product of the Texan News Service from the Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas. Watch us live on Apogee Channel 2.1 in the dorms at 12.30 weekdays. If you live off campus, tune in on Northland Cable Channel 9. You can follow the Texan News Service on Facebook and Twitter and check out our website at www.texannews.net for all of your latest local, state, national, and international news. Today's broadcast was produced by Sarah Hayner, Jordan Rankin, and Joseph Kamen. Have a wonderful day, Texans.